Alright, well I promised I'd do something, so I guess I probably should. Now, this is that Dell Inspiron 530S, is that what this thing is? Yes, 530S, I got at the thrift store today for $7. Uh, that I presume has a bad power supply. Now, to be honest, I am simply assuming this, but the well, assuming that it's only a bad power supply. Um, this thing is caked with dust, but it is also a Best Tech 250 watt power supply, and we all know what Best Tech. 250 watt power supplies are well known for. Um, especially from the age of this. Well, I can't get this out one handed, so give me one minute. Alright, I have this hooked up now. I was barely able to get that thing out two handed. I have no idea what kind of power supply this is I'm using. It's a high pro. And it apparently is... Man, I can't read. 305 max output. That's weird. Kind of like the 305 cubic inches in my truck. So let's see if this thing powers on. It does. What I'm going to do real quick... I think Dell's are F2 see what's what's in this thing that's weird so we have a Pentium dual core at 250 or 2.5 gigahertz which ain't bad um, you know I have the hard drive the Western Digital Caviar blue 500 gig hard drive hooked up does that show it Wow, it's got two bags of cash. That's not bad. You know, it's showing the hard drive, so... You know what, let's see what's in it. By the way, I have used some pretty terrible Dell keyboards in my lifetime. But this one here... This... That model... It's a L20V. It's got to be the worst. So let's say... CMOS and exit. Dude, give me a second. I gotta turn my shit. Well, you know what? I'm sitting down now. I think I'll be alright. Let's see. Oh boy, she is still running Vista. That is so gonna change. So this machine does work quite well. Well, we don't know about quite well yet. I don't have the HP? It is a Hewlett Packard uh, DVD burner. We don't have that hooked up right now because I only have one set of SATAs coming off of here and it wasn't quite long enough to reach. And I'm not that concerned about that. Man, this needs to get cleaned. There's actually nothing there. This could be... Yeah, this machine will... I think this machine will function quite nicely on Windows 7 Home Premium. Ah, boy. No password. Well, guess what? I don't... Hit. End game. Hold on a second. Because I am a very, very nosy person, I am doing something here. I've got a Linux, Linux, depending on how you like to say it, flash drive in it right now. And we're going to see. Yeah, I should probably uh, boot to the flash drive.
do, 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 do. There we go. Oh, I don't know what this... That's different. Apparently I can't use this flash drive on this processor. Give me a minute. Alright, so I made another USB device that should possibly get me in and able to see what these people have been doing. And, uh... I had to fire up my air compressor, which I'm sure... Um... Sure, if my neighbors heard, they were probably super thrilled about. And uh, this thing was dusty as all hell. <coughs> In fact, I'm still choking on dust. But uh, I don't see anything blatantly blown in here. I see this cap and possibly this cap are... Are... Um, where I look for a bulging, but I don't see anything straight up blown in there, but it just don't work. You know what? Let me uh, do this just to, just because I can. And now it's connected. Alright, I am. Uh, so now it's connected to the network. And it won't let me close out this keyboard's keyboard shortcut thing. Um, let's go in here to files. I want to see. It's not going to let me get to the other hard drive. It's not going to let me get to the hard drive, is it? So I just wanted to see what's on the hard drive. CD-ROM. It's been a long time since I messed with Ubuntu. I tell you, even running off the stick, it runs pretty well. Oh well. Um, I was hoping to see see what was on it. I'm not going to mess around with it too too much. Until I get a power supply for it. But, uh, yeah. So this completely works. I can't believe that it, the uh, Best Tech 250 did not wipe out the... That it did not wipe out the motherboard, because that's usually what they do. And, uh, I, man, this thing is going to need a massive, massive cleaning when it's done. Yeah, so this will be up for sale at some point once I get everything together on it. So, I guess for right now, the only thing to do is say thanks for watching and have a blessed day.